The uh, the system's working okay now, I think. Uh, but radio radio's still still here. Do you don't have to go off to YouTube or something else like that. Uh, I I meant to to do a lot of stuff about reality ahead of the drama show tomorrow, which is obviously fiction or some of it's fiction. Um, but I'll come back to it over the year. I'll come I'll come back to a lot of these things. Bet is at the end of January, and then in April there's Learning Technologies, which is supposed to be for uh, work, working age people. But I think the two things cross over a lot. Um, Coursera are not going to be at Bet. In fact, the whole the whole MOOC scene is is very much in background as far as schools are concerned, but. It is relevant to the learning technologies, human resources level. Um, and I, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll expand on this tomorrow. I, I don't know quite how to explain it all in this, in this space. Um, but what I've noticed over the break, um, obviously, obviously I was into Christmas as such, but I was reading in the newspaper so the, the, there were some serious bits came out of this. The, the, the Guardian had two, two stories, very interesting. One about poetry, and apparently last year was very good for, for poetry, and they put it down to TikTok and BookTok. Um, so I, I, I can't go into that a lot now, but um, I'll, I'll, I'll say a bit more about that tomorrow. But also, Mills and Boone are going to launch a new series to woo book lovers. And um, this is the interesting bit. Research by the Publishers Association has found that 59% of 16 to 25 year olds say BookTok has helped them to discover a passion for reading and Mills and Boone is up front about the fact it's trying to get its slice of the TikTok pie. An eye-watering 4.5 billion viewers of the hashtag SpicyTok goes on. Anyway, um, what, I'm, what I think is that the, the, the ways in which um, Creative Commons or um, content marketing, whatever you want to call it, has worked for music is gonna it's, go, it's clearly working for uh, book publishing and uh, poetry and it could work for drama live performance various kinds as well uh, so that's that's what I'm gonna be coming coming back to um, in in uh, and and oh, oh and also for learning uh, a lot of that's the whole thing about the MOOC. The MOOC, the MOOC is a way of offering um, an introduction. So it's, qu it's quickly switched to charging for certificates and um, so forth. Uh, now I think I've got. I've, I'm going to stop now, but we'll come back. Come back to this uh, t tomorrow because it's it's very relevant to the um, the drama show and the search for small bits of mp3 bits of sound that can be put into a radio show and are indicative of what what a live performance is going to be so that as a way of promoting it that's that's what that's what um i'll try and get to tomorrow on the on the drama show between eight and ten but also uh through the year I'm so I'm looking around because I can't I can't remember which which CD player's got which track in it, but I think this is going to be Texas.